ಬಂದೇ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ಬಂದೆ ನಿಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ನಂದ ನಂದನ ವಂದೇ ರಾಧಿಕ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಛಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ಸುಖಿಪಿಂಧು ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವಿಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಜಾಲಂಪಂಗುಂಗ್ಲಂಘತಿಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದೆ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಸಿದೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿಪದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂ ಚೈವನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವೀಂ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರಶ್ವ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದರ ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಭಿರಂಚಿನುತ ಶರಣ್ಯಂ ಭೀತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪುನಸಪಾಲ್ಯಭವಾಧಿಭೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರುಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನಖಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಿಜೀತಿ ಗೋಪವಧೂಷ್ವಾದರ್ಶ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾಕ್ಯಕರ್ಷ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೆ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೆ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕ ಬುಧಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರೌ ಕಮಲಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರೌ ಕರುಣಾವತಾರೌ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದುಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋ ದಿಬ್ಬರೂಪ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಚ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಚಾಸಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇಣ ಸದಾ ನರ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯಜಟಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷಿ ತ್ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯಮನಂಗುಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನುಸಿಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶ್ವನಾಥ ಪಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ ಭಕ್ಷಸಿ ಜಸ್ತೆ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀತಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ 
तपस्ीन दान पराजसीन मनस्ीन मंत्रिद सामंगल क्षेम न बिन्नते विना यदर्पण तस्म शुभद्रशवसे नमो नम तपस्ीन दान पराजसीन मनस्ीन मंत्रिद सुमंगल क्षेम न बिन्नते विना यदर्पण तस्म शुभद्रशवसे नमो नम गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपद परमंश जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट वॉट डू यू मीन बाय सत्संग दैट सत्संग मीन्स दैट टू जस्ट लिव अ सत्संग सत्संग एंड अ सत्संग कैन नॉट गो टुगेदर दैट कैन नॉट बी पॉसिबल एट ऑल सत्संग टू डू टू डू सत्संग मीन्स दैट that satsang means that you have just left a satsang satsang and a satsang can't go together it is not possible because satsang means that to leave a satsang so if you are not leaving a satsang then the person the individual can never go ahead in bhajan the association prabhav is so much so much tremendous the association prabhav is so tremendous that if you if one satsang can take can take a person to bhagavat prapti that the prabhav of sadhu sang is so much is so tremendous that just by doing satsang we definitely will get bhagavat prapti and if we will do a satsang bad association then it will take us where we don't know at all where we will go we don't know at all so in bhagavad ji mahapuran it is uh, written there just to just for our understanding that ajamil like a brahman he is a he is a son of brahman so nice actually brahman so beautiful he is so nice qualities he has you can't even imagine he is a son of brahman and he has a very good sadachar as well and his mother and father and all the old people also in the house whosoever is there he is just respecting them and uh, he is just doing archan of and aarti of krishna always doing puja of shalagram shila and what to speak more so nice other shacharan he has and uh, all those uh, j- going to the jungle and taking fruits and all everything for uh, just giving it to krishna and just giving it to his mother and father old mother and father so nice acharan but but this nice person what happens that that is actually called a satsang he actually just went to the jungle and he just uh, take some fruits and flowers from there and is taking some uh, wood from there all the time uh, every day when there actually he just see a very surprising thing he saw one uh, pros- prostitute she actually one prostitute actually she is actually just uh, doing uh, association with one uh, uh, bad person he is uh, watching from a very distant place when he saw that he just got mad he just got mad by just seeing that and uh, he has his own wife also and so nice so actually uh, wife from a very nice family she he actually just left everything he just forget everything and that uh, pros actually he just got attracted to that prostitute and what happened whatever happened you already know that whatever has happened in next and he just left all the sadachar and good acharan everything is gone everything whatever he has done and not like that that he has he started living with that pros only which he watched you see what so a satsang is so dangerous he has just uh, uh, giving him to such a fallen condition that he has just forgot his uh, main uh, mind also that what to do what not to do he just become mad what is good what is bad what is dharm what is adharm he just left everything just forgot everything just by bad association 
and so and for how many years long he has just do association with that cross and so much child he has just uh, uh, given birth and after that at last one uh, one uh, name of his child i just want don't want to speak the background uh, why actually he has just to, when sadhu came to his house and externally actually just uh, he was just uh, so speaking to him and there is one story but i just want to speak so his child name was narayan in the background there is one reason behind that i can't speak now so this narayan is his name that child name and that narayan name actually it is actually is not as uh, calling krishna he has left everything but he is actually calling his own son narayan narayan and narayan actually is very good he just while walking sleeping eating everywhere he is just uh, 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 calling narayan that's it so a lot of story i can't tell you now so see this asat sang you just can see where the person can drop down can get into fallen condition so very if we are very lucky then only we can get uh, asat sang of krishna and of devotees previously yesterday also and day after day of, before yesterday i was telling telling about this thing only that why just going through to or through this whole material world through this uh, chakra of uh, sansar birth and death when we will just uh, cut the material bondage almost we are at that point of cutting the material bondage then in that sadhu pure devotees association definitely will get krishna and and those who are getting that association of sadhu if someone is there if that is also krishna only who will give you uh, sadhu sadhu sang only baldav ji maharaj is always there uh, giving the as sadhu sang baldav ji maharaj all the time is just seeing everything who is doing what and who is doing what and and what is his condition and what we should give him now to so baldav ji maharaj is seeing everything observing everyone asat sang sunna kartavya asat sang sunna kartavya ji hai jasmat sarvarth hani adap patash ch jayati hai asat bhir sang sunna ंग भगवत दर्शन इन द वे ऑफ भगवत दर्शन इट इज वेरी डिफरेंट भगवत दर्शन द वे पाथ वे ऑफ भगवत दर्शन इज वेरी डिफरेंट दैट इज टोटली डिफरेंट भगवान श्री हरि एक्चुअली इज इन निर्गुण भूमिका इज स्टैंडिंग ऑन अ न्यूट्रल प्लेटफॉर्म भगवान इज इन स्टैंडिंग इन न्यूट्रल प्लेटफॉर्म एंड दोज हु आर डूइंग द भजन ऑफ भक्ति ऑफ भगवान दे आर ऑल्सो ऑन न्यूट्रल प्लेटफॉर्म ओनली they should also have to go to that neutral platform harir hi nirguno sakshat purusho prakate bhare sa sarvatrik upadrashta tan bhajan nirguno bhave parikshit maharaj ne parikshit maharaj is actually uh, asking question to sukhdev goswami pad that gurudev actually why it is like this that that the those who are doing archana of other demigods like shankar durga and they are becoming so rich whereas those who are doing uh, bhajan of bhagwan shri krishna and uh, of, of vishnu the turiya vastu he is doing bhajan then why he is becoming nishkinchan he is become he is become a total nishkinchan why he don't want anything why it is why it is like that and sukhdev ko swami pad actually speaking oh rajan those uh, all those demigods actually all the, you are doing our archan of demigods it is of this world only but this is actually the point of uh, material of this material world all these demigods and bhagwan is actually away from material world is beyond material world 
सो दो भगवान विच इज़ इन न्यूट्रल प्लेटफॉर्म निर्गुण मीन्स इज फ्री फ्रॉम मटीरियल मोड ऑफ नेचर दोज हु आर एक्चुअली डूइंग दैट भजन फॉर देम ऑल्सो यू जस्ट नीड टू गो टू दैट न्यूट्रल प्लेटफॉर्म दोज हु वॉन्ट टू डू भजन दे ऑल्सो हैव टू मूव टू दैट इन दैट गुनमय अवस्था वेदर वेन दे आर इन दिस थ्री मोड्स ऑफ मटीरियल लेचन यू कान डू हरी भजन इन दैट बिकॉज हरी इज नॉट द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड ही इज निर्गुण बियॉन्ड दिस मटीरियल मोड ऑफ नेचर शो श्री हरी इज निर्गुण वस्तु इज अवे फ्रॉम माया एंड इज नॉट टच कंटेमिनेटेड बाय माया एंड वी डोंट हैव एनी अदर पैथवे जस्ट जस्ट दिस ओरल रिसेप्शन पावर इज द ओनली पैथवे टू गो टू भगवान कृष्णा सो दिस इज द अरेंजमेंट ऑफ कृष्णा लाइक दिस this is a very uh, surprising uh, arrangement that if some child is born then after that you can see that the first uh, his uh, uh, sense organ that a hearing organ will get active first whether all other organs are not at all active they are all inactive with the eyes uh, and is not uh, at all opened his uh, uh, yeah, his hands and legs are not moving he his other sense and no sense organs are in are inactive at that time they are not at all active at that time only ears ears are active that the hearing organ the ears when we are taking birth that is active that is the arrangement of krishna so surprising arrangement that krishna has done if in some from front of child you are just clapping in some of chi- some in front of that child then the child definitely will be seeing uh, his eyes and rotating his eyes all around that from uh, where actually the sound coming so this hearing organ become active when that sound just uh, clips our ears that is the arrangement of krishna and there is another speciality of our ear that uh, whatever is just taken by our ears the object which is taken by our ears other sense organs cannot take that uh, what ears can uh, just take uh, the other sense organs cannot uh, take that it is not at all possible for them so this kind of which are very nice which siddhant which are is there so we need to discuss this if our ears those uh, ears who are which are receiving that other sense organ cannot receive that so that's why prabhupad speaking that those who are in the nirgun uh, platform that bhagwan shri krishna that chinmay vastu chinmay object in order to just uh, meet that chinmay vastu there is no other pathway just only that oral reception that shravan indriya is there just by uh, listening that uh, hari katha from the lotus mouth of uh, pure sadhu that vaikunth vani that vaikunth katha that is so much powerful that is very much powerful that vaikunth vani aprakrit vaikunth vani what is coming from the that golok vani coming from the lotus mouth of a sadhu if you are just listening it from from them then that it has some very a special power in that that is actually when that vaikunth word vani is just coming in our ear then our consciousness is increasing our consciousness is increasing so rapidly that that he will get uh, he become very active by listening that for krishna and he is just getting uh, that uh, realization of bhav inside him his heart for krishna because he want to hear the name of krishna he want to uh, he and take the prasadam of krishna he kitha and the katha of krishna he is just liking that and the word actually that vaikunth shabd is just coming from that world to this material world persons are actually thinking that uh, that actually it is actually this is the work of sadhu they are all the time speaking like this but actually he is not understanding this point that uh, from the lotus mouth of pure vaishnav that vakunth vani actually is coming that actually it is not of this material world this is actually this is not the mati- uh, vani of material world this is actually coming from vakunth straight away so that word actually 
दैट वर्ड विल अल्टीमेटली विल टेक अस टू बाई कुंठ डेफिनेटली that it will take us to backward definitely and 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 this uh, material world what we are just uh, hearing this word this will just open the doors of hell it will just do- open the doors of hell for us and it is not of any use prabhupada actually speaking lot of things that this uh, vani of this material world which has come from this material world that word from this material world is just taken birth from this material world only and it will just get destroyed in there holy but chaitanya gorang mahaprabhu actually speaking about that vaikunth world has come to has dis- descended on this earth just to uh, discuss about that vaikunth vani but that that param kripa mai that krishna katha that is very rare that is because of rarity it is not uh, coming in, uh, in to our ears this is because it is uh, this is what kind of situation has arise we don't know that is very rare hari katha is not coming in our ears so those who are actually lucky very much lucky and they are uh, uh, their luck is very good they are actually they can understand the instructions of gorang mahaprabhu and just by their luck and if we are actually just have some serving mood towards krishna have some positive attitude towards serving krishna if we can get it inside our heart and uh, we can just uh, have that serving attitude to, to inside our heart if it is done then definitely in our ears definitely this a prakrit vani will come and slowly and steadily we will just uh, make sure that by the uh, the glorification of devotees and definitely we will just uh, be just taking that inside our heart slowly and steadily so whosoever is there in which situation so those person who are in which situation at present they will definitely they should go ahead out out of that situation now those persons who are in which condition now at present uh, at the st- their stage of consciousness at what they are at now they just need to make sure that they should move forward they should move forward from there they should not go back then they no use of that so first of all just need to we have to lo- locate our position consciousness position of our consciousness if we cannot locate our position then where to go we can't understand whether to go ahead or to go back where to go up or down where just need to uh, locate our position first that is the uh, prime point and uh, that i have to go i am at what position what condition and where i have to go finally he will be getting solved i have uh, just discussed uh, uh, many days before one example that in the english hari katha i think so or hindi hari katha i can't remember but i have that if someone uh, some plane is crashed and in that condition if some person is just saved in that for with some parachute or something and he has just uh, uh, just fall in the jungle okay after just falling in the jungle he is not actually understanding that where i have just fallen and with what is the name of that country and what is there where to go i can't he can't understand that when fallen from that plane crash and if he just got a news that this is the name of this country and this is uh, and is the the name of the country is brazil where he has just fallen from the plane crash and w- w- whichever country is there he just came to understand from und- understood from someone and where to go actually how to go and if he ca- cannot re- locate that at what position i am there which country i am so he don't know where to go from uh, ahead or back so that's why prabhupada actually so speak you just need to locate your own position in which you are put into in which position you are actually you just need to understand that and that p- person who is in which position in that he just need to go up he has to go ahead 
दैट उन्नत भूमिका टॉप मोस्ट पोजिशन एंड फॉर दैट वॉट इज इम्पोर्टेंट You have to hear the Aparakritu Vaikuntha Vani from a uh, realized soul. Jivant Sadhu means that uh, uh, other Sadhus are mur- uh, are lifeless. Yes, they are lifeless. They are actually lifeless. Other Sadhus, those who are without Anugatya, without any support, they are actually uh, lifeless. They are like dead body. And those who Jivant Sadhu means those who are realized soul. realized which are under an- anugatya they are anugatya they have got the support of shrot pantha those who have just given their life for shrot pantha that is called a living source a jivant sadhu so at that point what when we are just just uh, listening that uh, vaikunth vani from that realized sadhu then definitely we can understand what is the actual power of that vani and at that point when we can understand that what actually the we will just be we will just uh, not be hearing the hari katha from that realized sadhu because he is speaking very strict vani and with the nishkapat bhavu if we will just uh, be not serving that realized soul then from all the four directions maya will just uh, uh, kill us it will grasp us from all the four direction and will just eat eat up our vitals and maya will definitely will take a very dangerous and fine form and will just kill us from all the four directions we will just get destroyed completely in this maya this is the actual uh, prabhav of maya so this is our actual duty that that where actually where and where which position which places uh, their uh, arrangement of hari katha we are actually where that uh, realize saul is there their pure version of sad pure sadhu is there where we just need to locate that baldav ji maharaj actually definitely will definitely help us in that we just need to find the real sadhu where is the living soul where i can hear that hari katha aprakritwani just need to locate that just need to find that prabhupad is speaking actually you just need to think of that where is that real sadhu and in that katha only you just need to just hear that and you just by sitting just need to think of that katha only that is actually called the vastavik katha just need to hear it with full uh, consciousness with full carefulness and attention living source means that he is acharan shil sadhu with full acharan that what he is speaking that he is actually uh, doing in his life and what actually those who are already in shrot pantha established in shrot pantha there that is living source and दुस एंड देर सेवन बुक दे डोंट हैव नेगेटिव वृत्ति यू डोंट हैव दैट नेगेटिव वृत्ति ऑलवेज हैव दैट पॉजिटिव सर्विंग एटीट्यूड जस्ट हेयर द वानी विद दैट नॉट विद नेगेटिव बिकॉज विद एट सर्विंग एटीट्यूड विद सर्विंग ईयर्स देन आवर हार्ट विल डेफिनेटली दैट भगवत दर्शन वी विल गेट इन साइड आवर हार्ट डेफिनेटली ऑटोमेटिकली and uh, what uh, hari katha actually giving us that bhagavad darshan then at what time then what happens that we should think that uh, this is actually vastavik uh, actual hari katha and the sadhu the lotus mouth of the sadhu from which we are hearing that is actually the living source and we are thinking that this hari katha by this hari katha then we will definitely get bhagavad darshan so apart from this there is no other pathway from this path uh, from this no other pathway is there where we should go for bhagavad prapti this is the only pathway by which you can just uh, you can have bhagavad darshan and you can just get uh, so there are lot of things about satsang that uh, i have to tell and and uh, mahabhagavat vaishnav just by just taking their sang by taking their association doing their association it is very good we will get eternal happiness we just by discussing it uh, we have just come to this point where 
that there is actually commentary and summary bhakti mr thakur uh, etc speaking and rup goswami pad uh, the shloka of rup goswami pad of this updesh amre this fifth shlok that that the a1 madhyam adhikari how actually has a, a kind of vichar in in his heart that by his tongue in his tongue uh, that uh, whosoever is having uh, hari naam on his tongue and uh, he is taking krishna naam on his tongue and inside his heart he just we need to respect that person and if he has got diksha in the bhajan field वास्तविक दीक्षा एंड ही इज परमानेंट विद दिस दीक्षा देन डेफिनेटली वी हैव टू विद अवर मेंटल कॉन्शियसनेस वी हैव टू रिस्पेक्ट हिम एंड वी हैव टू जस्ट पे प्रणाम एज वेल if you need association the for that also it is very this is a very big technique for doing association to do to do same behavior with every person this is not the rules of the shastra madhyam adhikari actually has to do this kind of vichar that that madhyam adhikari madhyam adhikari that is his uh, his condition his first stage madhyam adhikari first stage madhyam adhikari second stage and then third stage so when actually they went that uttam topmost stage of madhyam adhikari we going to preach him because uttam adhikari person will not go to preaching he will just not speak anything to any because he is getting bhagavad darshan just by sitting so that's why just for our uh, instructions and for uh, if Gur- gurudev is not speaking at all that is not at all good if he is not speaking just don't do that don't do that if he will not restrict us then who will actually teach us so that's why gurudev uh, is that the uh, role of that guru is done by that person who actually he who can just uh, see my thousands of faults and he just can rectify those and just can teach us that he can make me vishuddh completely fault free pure then what is the role of guru if the gurudev is just sitting in the room and is just doing mala all the time and he is just doing uh, uh, becoming servant of his uh, disciple then what is the role of guru so gurudev has his eyes in all the four directions i have already seen this is not a joking what i'm speaking if i haven't seen that practically then why i can have that confidence i have already seen it practically what i have seen i have seen means that i have practically realized not with my eyes but real, realized it practically from in, inside that what from inside eyes i have just realized that uh, i have realized it internally that what he is doing everything gurudev knows gurudev actually not speaking he is just uh, he is just sitting like idol in front of everyone and just uh, seeing that he is just a kind of mad person don't know anything but gurudev knows everything if one brahmachari in one time in night time actually one brahmachari he is doing what all bad activities all gurudev knows inside the room gurudev uh, crying oh my god oh, who is actually going into fallen condition like this gurudev he knows each and everything that this brahmachari actually he has just destroyed himself gurudev knows that and uh, when in the morning he is speaking just uh, call that brahmachari in front of me and uh, actually gurudev calling you and actually he just came in front of gurudev and he is not even seeing he is just eyes just got down he is not seeing his gurudev and then immediately i can understand why actually gurudev is was crying ho 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 everything is destroyed everything is destroyed he is just got destroyed then i can understand that thing that something uh, was uh, there is some problem there then i understand that then gurudev already know that before that only there was one accident uh, one american uh, devotee just as an accident met with an accident which actually has just uh, given me one plane ticket has given me a request when i was in the publication work in calcutta you just give me the money okay i will see that i will just uh, take on that uh, flight ticket 
i have he just uh, uh, made uh, he was just uh, using foul words to me and speaking with angry mood that i have just told you that today today date i need that flight ticket but you are not giving me tomorrow but if you are getting it tomorrow but in black also you will get that ticket why you have just taken uh, to uh, after 2 3 days ticket you just need to return the ticket i just need only to tomorrow's ticket he is actually american so that's why he has false ego i said okay no worries i just uh, return that ticket back and in the morning time actually i just came back from calcutta to mayapur and uh, gurudev actually in the morning time actually he is speaking that actually something will happen to him and uh, at uh, 11 am actually he just uh, just 7 o'clock he just uh, uh, went from off from mayapur to the airport to calcutta and in between gurudev speaking that actually something i am getting a lot of problem today something definitely will happen and then the news came then those who were actually speaking why you actually i have just done some aparad why you have done like this he has just met with an accident in kalyani driver is spot dead and he has almost dead in the in the dying state and he is in the kalyani hospital immediately you just have to take them to the kalyani otherwise he will be dead so he just uh, went there in the woodland hospital and then everything gurudev actually given me the instruction that you just need to uh, you just need to serve him because this is my service only so just i just go him and serve him so in calcutta there is one uh, giriraj maharaj the cloth of giriraj maharaj that uh, pujari foolish pujari he is just uh, uh, put uh, giriraj maharaj cloth on fire foolish number 1 and gurudev actually inside his heart is feeling burning sensation inside that oh actually uh, uh, my chest is burning what is happening and then the news came then giriraj maharaj actually just uh, burned in fire means that is just carelessness when uh, how fire can come there he don't know he carelessness and he just got fire giriraj maharaj so it means that too much oneness if in uh, in kalyani gaispur there is uh, in the service of madan mohan uh, gurudev just forgot to give uh, kambal to madan mohan he is feeling cold then after that he feels that oh there is too much oneness with krishna so these sadhus paramhans vaishnav they have do too much oneness with krishna it means that whatever the condition of one person he need he uh, needs to get respect according to that whatever respect i am giving to prabhupad that i can't give to respect to a normal person that is not possible for me it is not at all possible with those according to the degree you need to respect that otherwise it will that then aparad will be done accordingly so here rup go swami pad actually have just made it careful about this point i have already told us previously as uh, krishna kaviraj go swami in his purva ashram hai uh, krishna kaviraj go swami has told written that mean ketan ramdas he is actually the eternal partial of nitanand he just came to our house that gurunadam mishra he is a brahman actually has done disrespect uh, he has not given even respect not even paying dandavat he is not even uh, getting up from his position and krishnas kaviraj was speaking at that time my he he don't have uh, confidence on nitanand but he has confidence on gorang priti for gorang but uh, almost the same who is gor that is nitan and who is nitai that is gor who don't have any uh, confidence on nitanand then definitely he will not be having gor bhakti and gor bhakti uh, gorang is not actually giving him kripa at all and he is not doing any gorang not doing anything for him so gunanam mishra uh, krishna kaviraj actually speaking uh, writing then when mean ketan ramdas is not doing uh, disrespecting nitanand prabhu he just break his stick into two pieces and just uh, fall it down on the ground and just went away from there and krishna das kaviraj go my writing writing at that point my brother gunanan mitra is just destroyed destroyed means that his that whatever consciousness was there is totally destroyed and he has just become totally material totally material in his life 
so be uh, be attentive and careful about this point so what kind of uh, behavior we have to do and what kind of respect we have to give to him that is not at all same for everyone so if some uh, actually uh, some person actually just taken me forcefully to south india i just don't want to go there and without uh, just uh, asking my permission he has just taken the ticket there and he the other person is also there in the ticket if i will not go there then he has to cancel that ticket and that's why i have to go there i was very much busy i in vrindavan i was there so i was very busy but i went there actually and there there was their arrangement was not good i was not feeling good because there were karam kandi people there so that's nothing was there there is no vaishnav at all there there is no respect for vaishnav after that uh, eating is you just leave everything i am not actually thinking of eating after that in uh, arrangement of hari katha there is some problem they are actually some foreigner some foreigner acharya or some uh, we taking some young young women and just uh, dancing there so everything is going on i was thinking what is going on i haven't actually um, think of all this so let's see i haven't uh, went to that program whatever is happening happening but in hari katha also duplicity was there there was not some permanent thing there and there is all pratishta for all brahmans not for us nothing for us so nothing is there for us so in there what actually i am speaking there is a very is a very 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 like a gunda his person was there he has actually got the uh, permission to do uh, he has got the duty he has got the duty that uh, he has got the duty that foolish person to just uh, maintain what actually sadhus needs so that person who is such a foolish man is such a uh, fraudster even if i don't want to see his face which is very for him he has got the responsibility to take all the uh, pure vaishnav and sadhus and he has got this responsibility and you just give all the prasadam to sadhu that actually if don't need to see his face why i will not take water from him Whoop. i don't have, i don't need any prasadam go go after that when the utsav was complete then what happened this foolish person what i told you this foolish actually that is speaking to acharya that those that pranami we have to give that we have to give equal to everyone so that uh, nobody can feel uh, distress <laughs> he's so foolish i was just laughing we somebody has come for some money sadhu is like that maybe some sadhu is there but sadhu is not like that but sadhu don't uh, require any money they know actually that i am going there just uh, just to give kripa of my gurudev what i have got from gurudev i am going there to give them but if someone is thinking that uh, in calcutta someone uh, one place is there he is a very rich man he is actually speaking that you just uh, you just give money throw money you will get sadhu he is speaking foolish number 1 and everyone is going there every so called sadhu so di- so this kind of bani those who are actually throwing uh, money you will get sadhu you are actually dog and they are those who are following you they are also dog okay no worries and he is speaking and that uh, wild beast if he is getting a uh, marriage getting married then what will happen if that uh, if a jackal is getting married if a jackal is getting married then uh, that uh, out, uh, that camel will be there <laughs> what will happen <laughs> everything you give equal <laughs> so they haven't uh, learned anything that how to respect uh, sadhu they they haven't learned anything from gurudev just Ju- just uh, coming from the mother's move they become acharya <laughs> like this their condition is so it's like this so that is the top most thing so according to this vichar we have to go and this i have already told uh, yesterday in yesterday's hari katha and saraswati goswami thakur bhasha have also discussed 
that I have uh, Anuvriti uh, Charcha I haven't done so I will just do it today so this log actually what it means that if uh, Divya Gyan means what is Divya Gyan Divya Gyan means uh, Divya Gyan means what you mean by Divya Gyan that is Sambandha Gyan is getting inside your heart you are getting relationship with Krishna that you are getting relationship with Guru, Vaishnava, Bhagwan, Dham, Nam. You are getting that relationship. That uh, relationship uh, uh, consciousness is building inside uh, your heart. Sambandhagyan is not a normal thing. Sambandh, Sambandh, somebody is thinking that uh, that you have relationship with Bhagwan. Okay, you are getting so, so relationship with Bhagwan. Okay, you are getting relationship with Bhagwan. But Sambandh Bhagwan, Sambandhagyan is a vast chapter. It's not a normal thing. It's a very vast thing. If Sambandh means relationship, that uh, what is the relationship with uh, of us with Bhagwan? What is the relationship with Maya with Bhagwan? And what is our relationship with the Bhagwan? And uh, what is the relationship of Jiva with Jivas? This whole vast thing, whatever relationship is there, that that realize to realize that that is actually called Divya Gyan. That Gurudev actually Gurudev actually is just getting uh, give us the relationship uh, with Krishna, but it doesn't mean that Krishna has just given relationship with Krishna. That's it. But it doesn't mean that we don't have any relationship with the Vaishnav. That is not at all possible. Because Bhagavat Tattva means Because Bhagavat Tattva means What do you mean by Bhagavat Tattva? Bhagavat Tattva is a complete Tattva. Bhagavat Tattva Bhagavat Tattva is not a normal thing. Bhagavat Tattva means That Bhagavan, Bhagavan Parshat, Bhagavan's name, Bhagavan Vaishishta, Leela Everything, Vaishnav, everything in total is called Bhagavat Tattva. Bhagavat Tattva, Bhagavat Tattva is non-different from that. And if you are cutting that from uh, Bhagavat Tattva, that Bhagavat Tattva, then how Bhagavat Tattva can stay? If you are just cutting that uh, devotees from Bhagavan, who are actually the lifeline of uh, Bhagavan, they are non-different from Bhagavan. And if you are cutting and throwing it, then it is not possible. So it's like this. That uh, this Sambandh Gyan, if it's just getting inside our heart, it is not a normal thing. It is not a normal It's a very vast, vast chapter actually. And we, what is our relationship with Bhagwan? And what is our uh, relationship uh, with the devotees? And what is the relationship of with Maya? And what is my relationship with Maya? Who am I? And all this is actually vast chapter. Who is Dham? What is Dham? What is Nam? One, and what is this complete tattva? Then the complete knowledge of that uh, sambandh gyan is that is called sambandh gyan. Madhva Charja actually has written tattva Panchaved that in that firmly he has spoken. Everything uh, Panchaved actually has told there, Madhvacharya is written. So, this kind of Panchaved is established by Madhvacharya. So, in this way, Diksha actually, Diksha, what is the name of Diksha? Those who are by that Anushthan, those by that arrangement, uh, all the material bondage can be cut. That so birth after birth we are just collecting all the basana of towards that uh, material things, material objects, just to enjoy them. That is just got cut. If it is just got uh, left, you just leave that, and you are just getting the realization of that aprakrita to inside you. You are just cutting the relationship with the jad material objects because you don't have any material object. There is no material object word. They are inside our heart. That is called Vastavik Diksha. By this arrangement, by this arrangement done by that realized soul, realized sadhu, when by that arrangement, when we are, by that arrangement, by 
that arrangement all the vaishnav actually who are uh, actually speaking that arrangement as diksha that is actually called vastavik diksha and krishna naam and krishna is non different that is a prakrit tattva and and this naam name and the name uh, is non different prabhupad actually speaking all the time that when you are just get, getting the realization the swarup of naam then definitely you have to do uh, naam according to that then you will get the actual fruit of naam and without any realization and any thinking you are speaking hari krishna hari krishna not like that you you just need to understand the swarup of naam then definitely then you get the grip of naam prabhu whereas naam and nami are abhin non different but shila rup goswami pad has just uh, given one uh, as proved that that those naam and nami uh, name is getting more importance why because nami nami bhagwan se naam that from bhagwan name is more uh, merciful and more uh, up than bhagwan himself that is the name of bhagwan is more than bhagwan himself so krishna naam and krishna is non different it is a prakrit tattva that you just need to realize that shri krishna chaitanya mahaprabhu ji's name actually mahaprabhu himself is non different it is already written there already mahaprabhu naam and krishna ji is non different from each other and that all all we actually is told so so naam so prabhu name hai. naam prabhu ye actually he is uh, all the time it's all blissfulness all at eternal so happiness is given in naam prabhu and it is actually uh, it is a bhajaniya vastu for all those pure vaishnavas and sadhus this naam and just need to understand this that after uh, realizing this that name is the top most and name can give everything and krishna naam and krishna are non different and aprakrit tattva but still krishna naam is top most ram se jyada ram ka naam apart from ram ram's name is more top most naam is top most eternal blissfulness and naam prabhu is actually the top most is the is uh, the most uh, blissful and uh, uh, eternal happiness given by naam prabhu and is worshipable to us more than bhagwan and just by taking that ashray of that krishna naam whosoever is taking and is taking krishna naam all the time definitely they will get they are getting into the vishay of krishna uh, all the time they are attracted to krishna and definitely they are getting that attraction feeling that attraction towards krishna and whatever activities related to krishna they actually just uh, telling us ramayan there is one example that hanuman ji maharaj and sugriv etc all actually they are actually by krip of uh, ramchandra ji they are actually just making uh, the pull the the highway on uh, on that ocean and because at that time there was no technology whatever technology is there in the modern today modern civilization uh, that time the uh, technology was far better than today's because at that time uh, mantra etc were used uh, to just uh, and uh, uh, missiles were actually just uh, made uh, uh, with the help of those bows arrows and uh, in the previous uh, yugas ramayan and in the ramayan actually that there uh, one one stone actually hanuman ji Mar- maharaj is writing jai shri ram and is just throwing that stone in the water and that water in that water ram naam by the name the glorification of that naam is so much that stone is just koi uh, gap uh, nahi floating on the water that is not a joke scientists have already have uh, uh, proved that that inside that ocean far deep beneath that ocean that setu bandham what ramchandra ji has made 
एक्चुअली दैट सेतु बंधन हैज जस्ट गॉट डिस्ट्रॉयड एंड दैट ओशन हैज जस्ट प्रेड इन फ्रंट ऑफ राम चंद्र जी दैट यू आर एक्चुअली जस्ट मेकिंग मी इन अ बॉन्डेड स्टेट एक्चुअली यू जस्ट नीड टू कट मी सो फॉर दैट राम चंद्र जी हैज जस्ट विद एन एरो हैज जस्ट डिस्ट्रॉयड दैट सेतु बंधन has just destroyed that setu mandan and just setu mandan just got destroyed and went down still now actually you can see that uh, setu mandan is from uh, sri lanka to rameshwaram that uh, bridge of stone is just now deep beneath the ocean now also so uh, naam is more greater than the name of that person so those who are actually doing the name of bhagwan then definitely he will just uh, get uh, indulge in uh, krishna veg so definitely he will no be not be having any vakya veg material vakya veg only and only that mahabhagavat who is actually his th- he has realized that harinam and hari is not different and he is actually taken the shelter of harinam and only uh, a mahabhagavat can realize that just uh, we can get that from a mahabhagavat sadhu or a pure vaishnav only that naam parayan that who that who can understand that name is the top most and we just need to respect him from our heart with full realization and and those who are with the panchratrik mantras uh, according to that uh, panchratrik mantra shri naam is always there in that panchratrik mantra and in that and with full sambandh vivek full relationship realization how to get our realization established it is written there and uh, those who are naam ashrit uh, harijan who have we can't speak like that those who have already haven't taken the name uh, uh, name of those who haven't taken the those who haven't taken the shelter of naam prabhu they can't be uh, called as a uh, naam parayan sadhu they can't be uh, spoken like that they externally they have taken the swarup of an acharya but they can't be uh, spoken that they are naam parayan sadhu so so apart from who is actually harijan how we can become harijan harijan means that who is the eternal parshad of bhagwan in chaitanya charitamrit sanatan shiksha in sanatan shiksha uh, mahaprabhu actually is uh, uh, speaking Those those who who have have Komal Shraddha Shraddha inside their heart, those whose Shraddha is not Komal permanent in permanent in form, they are actually Kanishth. Which is their Shraddha is in preliminary. Those who can only do Archan of ओनली डू अर्चन ऑफ भगवान बट दे हैव रिस्पेक्ट फॉर दैट बिलीव इन दैट दे आर डूइंग अर्चन ऑफ भगवान बट स्टिल दे डोंट हैव रिस्पेक्ट फॉर गुरु वैष्णव उतना ही they don't have a uh, respect for guru vaishnav they don't know anything more about guru vaishnav jo to those shri murti ka who are actually doing uh, archan of shri murti vidrah but for uh, bhagwan bhagwan's devotee they don't have that uh, attraction but that is not uh, they are called kanishth and mahaprabhu actually speaking and slowly steadily definitely they will come to that uttam uh, uttam stage if they will not do aparad in chaitanya ramrit it is written that satyaraj khan one question was uh, he, he put one question in front of that kulingram vasi has just uh, done question that how we can just uh, understand who is vaishnav how we can uh, understand that who is vaishnav kaisa in front of mahaprabhu how we can realize that who is vaishnav vaishnav chini wo kya mane ke vaishnav kahotar samanno lakkhan kon vaishnav and who is vaishnav you just uh, what are the actual symptoms you just need to tell us if you just give, give kripa on me and just tell me he is asking to mahaprabhu and mahaprabhu actually speaking there is from whose mouth actually if you are just hearing one krishna nam he is definitely respectful and you just need to respect that he is actually respectful and that's why from his from the mouth who is actually speaking one uh, krishna nam he is actually vaishnav you just need to respect him sei to vaishnav koriyo tahar sanman 
एंड द कनिष्ठ डिवोटीज इन भागवत जी महापुराण ऑल्सो इट इज रिटर्न भगवान टोल्ड In eleventh canto, second chapter, there it is written, by, told by Bhagwan, and those devotees who have just taken the uh, shelter of Nam, Krishna Nam, those who have taken the shelter of Krishna Nam, and they are doing Krishna Bhajan, just with the full of uh, which are they are actually just need to pay uh, respect as well as pranam also, and Mahaprabhu actually speaking. and after that there is very in depth uh, discussion that naam ashray means i have already told that they have taken that uh, ashray shelter of gurudev with the shelter of na- name krishna naam and the relationship is there attached with the name and gurudev that's why the there is a arrangement to do pranam and respect to him so rupa swami pad actually just already told na that already before sagiri twam manasadriyata adikhasi chet ट हिम and pranam him that is very important and those who in on to his tongue all in the inside his heart all the time krishna naam is just going on inside his heart all the time just be careful mahaprabhu actually speaking why so in depth discussion is there that krishna naam all the time non stop all the time krishna naam is actually dancing on his tongue all the time that krishna naam is dancing on his tongue from his mouth all the time krishna naam is going on just be understand that he is the topmost vishnu uttam vishnu and for him mahaprabhu actually told that just need to worship his lotus feet for this uttam vishnu for this uttam vishnu mahaprabhu told that you just need to worship his lotus feet bhaj means you just need to serve his lotus feet worship his lotus feet bhaj means service you just need to serve his lotus feet so those who have i didn't got any shastra yukti he don't know uh, he don't know a lot about shastra what actually is there in the shastra and so according to the shraddha and they have their grade who is of uh, what kind of rank one devotee is i have already told that that madhyam adhikari vyakti with this vichar he just will go ahead in his bhajan and this madhyam adhikari always have uh, preeti uh, in the hari naam and that's why he is uh, always uh, respecting with with full preeti he is just doing uh, anukirtan and kirtan of or uh, this uh, naam sankirtan yagya all the time he is doing that and he is just getting that preeti towards and prem towards bhagwan he is developing that and he is getting a respect for prem for devotees and definitely is getting kripa from shri nam and who are actually against devotees he is actually not doing their association just to avoid them <coughs> that is actually the characteristic of a madhyam adhikari bhagwan mein priti rahi just to have those who are actually without any priti they who didn't got any priti towards bhagwan they haven't shown priti towards bhagwan 
and and with aprakrit those who haven't got that aprakrit realization inside their heart and they haven't shown they are actually without realization of the krishna swarup they don't have direct realization they have just some material idea about that that how bhagwan looks what's the swarup of bhagwan who oh, those have actually don't have any priti sambandh with bhagwan relationship prema sambandh relationship with and haven't they are uh, they have some material idea about bhagwan for them they are actually material have the material idea just to understand you just need to avoid their association so those who are all the time have swarup siddhi have got in their bhajan and with the manas seva all the time mentally they are just doing ashtakala leela uh, and uh, all the time he is just doing and without krishna relationship he has no uh, interest in uh, material things he has relationship with india and he has just cut all the relationship with this material world uh, apart from krishna krishna relationship he is not thinking of any other relationship so for him he is actually not at all getting krishna attachment towards krishna he will definitely have that uh, ninda bhav and he'll be having that uh, different things for these mahabhagavat definitely he you need to serve them and for that mahabhagavat you just need to serve them those who have this kind of characteristic i have already told i have told this shloka you just need to serve them just is to serve their lotus feet aur jiska darshan ka saath who have uh, with the darshan he is actually doing krishna naam as well then be sure that uh, he is actually he is very big vaishnav he is vaishnav pradhan those by uh, that darshan he is actually doing krishna naam in his mouth that is vaishnav pradhan and uh, this this is gradually at like this this is a gradual procedure and by this these are the symptoms of a vaishnav and vaishnav and vaishnav taro vaishnav tamo all these actually this which are is actually shown here in chetan jar damre it is written those who are shraddhavan actually they will dev they are actually the adhikari of bhakti they will get bhakti they have actual bhakti mahaprabhu actually told mahaprabhu ji ne bataya shraddhavan jon hoy bhakti adhikari mahaprabhu ji ne bataya mahaprabhu has told this point shraddhavan jon hoy bhakti adhikari uttam madham kanishtho shraddha anushar aisa this time this type mahaprabhu has told aisa karke so like this it is written in the shastras and in every everywhere it is, he has actually getting bhagavad darshan in every in every object bhutani bhagavati atmani esha bhagavatam bhagavatam ye bhagavatam is actually why he is actually bhagavatam because everywhere in every object he is actually uh, realizing bhagwan दर्शन इज लाइक दैट दैट इन एवरी ऑब्जेक्ट ही इज एक्चुअली Uh, relating it with krishna he that is the actual symptom of a mahabhagavat so whatever actually is in relationship with krishna he is actually having a, a krishna darshan in every object related to krishna and that the symptom of mahabhagavat is in each and every individual and object whether he is his enemy or friend still in every thing and every object he is uh, just uh, thinking his relationship with krishna he is just getting that vaikunth darshan oneness of darshan of oneness so this madhyam adhikari and uh, so this kanishta uh, adhikari madhyam adhikari i have told you it means that uh, 
दैट इन मध्य मध्यम अधिकारी एंड कनिष्ठ अधिकारी वट एवर द सिम्टम शुड बी इट इज ऑटोमेटिकली देयर इन साइड दिस सो इट इज ऑलरेडी हैव डिस्क्राइब दिस अबाउट दिस ऑलरेडी डिस्क्राइब दिस अबाउट दिस रूप गोस्वामी पाद वट हैव टोल्ड आई हैव जस्ट द फिफ्थ श्लोक वॉट ही हैज रिटर्न दे आई हैव जस्ट ब्रीफली डिस्क्राइब अबाउट दिस श्लोक अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ द महाजंस भक्ति मनोज ठाकुर एंड प्रभुपाद आई हैव जस्ट डिस्क्राइब इट अंडर देयर गाइडेंस सो ऑल दिस स्लोली स्टेडली वी वी माँ प्रभु चेतन जी रामलेट वॉट हैव टोल्ड आई हैव जस्ट डिस्क्राइब इट वेरी ब्रीफली एंड नाउ दिस सिक्स सिक्स नंबर श्लोक आई विल बी डिस्क्राइबिंग हेयर एक्चुअली रूप गोस्वामी पाद हैज जस्ट टोल्ड दैट वॉट नॉट टू डू दैट एक्सटर्नली इफ देर इज वन दोष और सम फॉल्ट इन वेस्ट नव एक्सटर्नली that you don't need to take darshan of that external with the, that uh, material with material darshan you don't need to have that darshan of a vaishnav externally with material eyes you can't do vaishnav darshan you can't have um, a prakrit darshan with material darshan can't compare that so this six number shlok actually rup goswami pad दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इन दिस दैट दैट इन दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड Whoso, whosoever is actually should the question of sometimes externally they are showing some leela and uh, in sometime in their body some ex- some defect uh, we can found when they are living in this material world those pure devotees in their behavior and externally in their body we can just find some defect with our material eyes we can see some material darshan and we can find some fault in them in this material world when we are living uh when we are seeing uh, behavior in their behavior and some body some kind of fault some acharan fault is you can see but rup goswami pad has told that uh, na- and no um, uh, don't need to have uh, they don't have any kind of fault in them externally make you, you can find that they have some fault cannot the pure vaishnav don't have that uh, prakrit darshan material darshan don't have that material darshan inside you like like inside ganga there are lot of uh, dirt and uh, lot of uh, garbage is there externally but still but still ganga water that is called brahma dravya is the transcendental is coming from transcendental world she dravya brahm the she cannot get contaminated river ganga whatever you just whatever externally can happen but they said this is actually brahma dravya the brahm object so coming from that brahm so it cannot have any defect the scientist have also described Uh, whenever there are lot of uh, garbage and dirt in the garbage uh, is just uh, from the factory it's coming inside and uh, lot of if a uh, dog is died dead or the cow is dead he they are just throwing in ganga they don't have any sense but scientists have actually just discovered that there is actually no germ no bacteria inside ganga river that uh, scientists have just uh, d- discovered this that there is no in this brahmadrav river ganga externally there is some fault but actually there is no fault or defect in that in ganga no prakritattami avakta janas pashyat gangam bosham na khalu budbudu phen pankoy pankoy brahmadavattam avagachchati nindhar 
in ganga river river ganga when you are just uh, have finding de defect in ganga that is strictly prohibited and externally you are uh, whatever sitting walking of the vaishnav if you are finding finding any fault there is no external fault you can find some external fault but there is actually not fault like sanatan goswami pad like sanatan goswami pad when vrindavan coming from vrindavan they just uh, come to vrind nila chal dham when uh, according to the pathway given by mahaprabhu to from jharikhand in the way of jharikhand ye jo jharikhand ka rasta hai in the way of jharikhand it's actually jungle so in the forest actually when um, sanatan goswami pad actually mahaprabhu went from there to vrindavan and rup goswami pad also sanatan goswami pad has just uh, uh, made uh, has just come from that uh, forest only and externally the water was not good and it just uh, and sanatan goswami pad just got some uh, itching in his whole body and in that uh, condition what happened when mahaprabhu actually sanatan goswami pad just uh, met with sanatan goswami pad and mahaprabhu actually just uh, making him uh, i just want to give him some alingan uh, to sanatan goswami pad and just uh, uh, that at that time when sanatan goswami pad used to uh, go from there actually he was don't actually touch me don't touch me actually my body is, uh, situation is not good and actually uh, mahaprabhu used to give alingan to sanatan goswami pad and prabhu actually used to speak and not and not like that but sanatan guru uh, uh, gorang mahaprabhu used to speak mahaprabhu used to speak that actually just by i am actually getting pure in order to get myself pure i am just uh, getting your touch that's why i am used to do alingan to you i am uh, getting your touch so that i can get myself pure because all your uh, pure activities and characteristics and symptoms i don't have inside me and then when sanatan goswami pad was crying and was feeling very distressed by when oh, every day prabhu actually just coming running and just give me uh, a nice uh, alingan my blood actually is very bad blood on my body it's actually just touching the body of mahaprabhu when uh, mahaprabhu is giving him alingan then mahaprabhu actually giving one uh, uh, instruction there one uh, that okay i am just giving you uh, your touch why i am touching you if i am not touching you if if i am not thinking that you are not pure if i am not thinking that you are not pure then you are uh, impure because you have some itching in your body then definitely krishna will give me punishment definitely mahaprabhu actually speaking that vaishnav body is not at all material वैष्णव बॉडी इज नॉट मटीरियल इट इज एक्चुअली अ प्राकृत ट्रांसडेंटल एंड इफ आई आई यूज टू टच इफ आई डिडेंट टच यू देन डेफिनेटली महाप्रभु विल कृष्णा विल गिव मी पनिशमेंट महाप्रभु स्पीकिंग फर्स्ट डे वेन आई जस्ट टच यू वेन आई जस्ट कमिंग रनिंग एंड गिविंग अलिंग यू एक्चुअली आई एम जस्ट गेटिंग द स्मेल ऑफ चंदन फ्रॉम योर बॉडी लाइक अ चाइल्ड one child actually in the lap of his uh, mother he is just doing all the urine and stool in the lap of his mother he is that child is doing all uh, stool and urine in the lap but still the mother actually is not getting angry uh, with her child and uh, she is not at all crying when he is doing that activity all the time actually she is actually doing this is my child only this is my child only and uh, she just respect us uh, her child so much and he is just uh, he is doing stool and urine but still mother actually thinking that actually it is just like chandan to him so for for his own child he is actually just touching his body that all stool and urine touching but still it, she is just thinking like it is like chandan mahaprabhu giving example so here mahaprabhu actually teaching us that externally vaishnava externally 
एक्चुअली वॉकिंग सिटिंग वॉट एवर देर इज समेक्ट इन देयर बॉडी एंड इन बिहेवियर यू डोंट नीड टू हैव फाइंड एनी डिफेक्ट और फॉल्ट इन दैम एक्सटर्नली दैट इज नॉट एट ऑल गुड बाई दिस महाप्रभु एक्चुअली गिविंग दिस इंस्ट्रक्शन टू अस सो इन दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड the behavior of the shuddha bhakt pure vaishnav and their body there may be some external faults there can be some external faults but you don't need to uh, you need to overlook that that is the these because these pure vaishnavs because the pure vaishnavs are always aprakrit and always have a aprakrit darshan transcendental darshan if you are not doing transcendental darshan you are having that material darshan towards them with that material bhava then definitely definitely it is uh, your mind is just like a, a like dead you have that uh, mortal uh, mind you have that mortal thinking towards vaishnav that is will be very much uh, dangerous and it will just destroy his own bhakti like in water there is actually bubbles and and foam and bubbles are there and a lot of garbage garbage is there in water but still in the river ganga that is brahma dravya because it is transcendental that will not at all that those characteristics will not go away because it is actually brahma dravya this river ganga lot of actually defects externally you can see from your material eyes but बट इन दैट रिवर गंगा द करेक्टरिस्टिक एंड सिम्टम ऑफ दैट ब्रह्मद्रव्य कैन नेवर गेट डिस्ट्रॉयड दैट अपराकृत ट्रांसीडेंटल भाव एंड करेक्टरिस्टिक्स विल बी देयर इन रिवर गंगा दैट इज ब्रह्मद्रव्य भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर हैज है ऑन दिस हैज रिटर्न एन भाष्य ऑन दैट भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर स्पीकिंग नीर मीन्स वॉटर that and water has lot of names there is not one name of water water has lot of names one name is neer water neer means water bhakti mein thakur actually writing here that in the river ganga lot of external faults are there yeah, externally from our material eyes but still ganga is ganga ganga is transcendental brahmadravya ganga is brahmadravya whatever external fault you are seeing i mean brahmadravo jo prabhav hai that characteristic of brahmadravya is there in ganga so it cannot contaminate ganga at all ganga jal ganga jal ka brahmadravata atat brahmata atat brahmadharma that is a brahma dharma that cannot get uh, vanquished from ganga so this kind of example like this example actually so this example actually bhakti no thakur actually writing just by all these uh, shuddh devotee shuddh pure vaishnav in the same way bhakti no thakur is writing that in the same way pure vaishnav those pure devotees externally they have the in this material body they are present aisa hi aisa hi shuddha bhakto ko so in the same way these pure devotees char sharir ka in this material body we they are already there in this material body but externally to just have a material darshan for them that is strictly prohibited for vaishnav बट मीन्स इफ योर इफ देर इज इन फॉल्ट इन बिहेवियर एंड इन द बॉडी बट स्टिल इट इज नॉट एट ऑल मटीरियल भक्ति नो ठाकुर स्पीकिंग दे आर एक्चुअली नॉट मटीरियल एट ऑल if actually in any devotee have some fault in their defect in their body he is actually black and there is some defect in his body you don't need to see that with material eyes material darshan should be strictly prohibited like jhadu thakur 
धार झरु ठाकुर एक्चुअली एक्सटर्नली ही इज ही इज एक्चुअली फ्रॉम अ लो लो बॉर्न फैमिली एंड हरिदास ठाकुर ऑल्सो हैज टेकन बर्थ इन अ लो क्लास फैमिली एंड एंड एक्सटर्नली यू कैन सी दैट झरु ठाकुर इज ब्लैक एंड यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू सी हिम बट स्टिल ही इज वैष्णव दैट्स वाई इट इज यू हैव टू सी हिम विद नॉट विद दिस मटीरियल आइज like this in river ganga whatever you are doing lot of garbage you throw whatever you do but still that brahma dravya transcendental river water whatever actually you are doing uh, uh, any kind of uh, uh, rubbish you are doing but still this is brahma dravya this river ganga is brahma dravya that is uh, the final thing that will not go this characteristic will not go so like this so in the same way uh, there is only one pure devotee that pure devotee has come in this material body and there may be some externally fault in um, in material body in body and their behavior but that should be strictly prohibited to have material darshan towards that pure devotees their their uh, body and uh, you don't have that prakrit darshan for their body and their behavior that is strictly prohibited that's why if in any devotee if you are actually some fault is there in any pure devotee if there is some any someone is doing some any fault darshan in the by their behavior is like that if some are doing some darshan like that he is actually shudra he is vaishya you are having this kind of darshan towards pure vaishnav then there are lot of defects there can be there in the vaishnav externally but prakrito boliya bhakte kahuna nindive kabhi bhi no need to kabhi bhi we don't need to speak we don't need to see with this material eyes don't have to feel that the pure vaishnavs are material don't need to insult them by speaking the material just always have to see the shuddha bhakti inside them and all the time you have to just uh, pray onto their lotus feet and just uh, uh, speak about their stuti gaan you have to glorify them in various ways because externally they ha- it looks like it is material but still he is a pure devotee and a pure bhakti is there inside his heart that's why there is no actually uh, fault remain inside him inside a vaishnav sanjukto ganga jal brahma devata hoite nahi chuto sei roop shuddha bhakto jado deho gato shabhav bopu dose na hoy takitu atev dekhiya bhakter kadakar shabhav jo varno ha कारकश मीन्स दैट हिज वॉइस टोन इज नॉट गुड इज जस्ट लाइक काका का इट्स हिज वॉइस इज नॉट एट ऑल स्वीट एंड वेन हीज स्पीकिंग इट्स नॉट स्वीट हीज एक्चुअली वॉइस बॉक्स इज नॉट गुड हिज थ्रोट इज नॉट गुड हीज नॉट स्पीकिंग इन अ वेरी ही डोंट नो हाउ टू स्पीक एंड ही इज स्पीकिंग वेरी स्ट्रिक्टली एंड ही हैज अ वेरी ही इज स्पीकिंग वेरी स्ट्रिक्टली बट स्टिल don't need to see any if he is speaking all the time very hard by just seeing that never we just need to if some we are actually seeing some vaishnav like this then definitely shuddha bhakti we are we don't need to have to blame them uh, just have to see shuddha bhakti inside them we just need to we just need to see shuddha bhakti inside them and uh, whatever this prachestha was there for his whatever he is doing for shuddha bhakti he you just need to respect him and do pranam on to his lotus feet shuddha bhakto ka dosh darshan karke for pure devotees if you are just uh, doing any uh, that doing any uh, darshan Uh, faulty darshan then that is not at all good it is strictly prohibited to have material darshan towards a pure devotee so this is the actual meaning of this sixth shloka shuddha bhakto 
and uh, those should bhakt actually because those pure devotees actually they are not at all doing any kusang or asatsang like bad association they can't uh, get bad association pure devotees they can't get any bad association and not at all they cannot have any bad association and for them naam aparadh and bad association is not possible for pure devotees because they are pure and if there is any defect in their body externally and there is some uh, um, fault in his behavior but still you don't need to see that you just need to respect him don't have any kind of material darshan someone actually speaking kadar de lakshan have some defect in his body some have in some sadhu we are seeing some pain is there he is actually getting some disease he is actually sadhu how he is getting disease you don't need to speak like this he has some he has some bad habit for like this we don't need to see his fault in that if some some actually uh, dosh or fault is there in the body and in some behavior there is some fault externally but still you don't need to see that don't need to see fault in them if you will see is actually not uh, looking good he is actually uh, getting some disease his body structure is not good his body structure is very bad and he is get, has getting some disease he has actually some he is getting some disease whatever actually illness sickness is getting so don't don't need to have that darshan that is actually vapu dosh vapu this those are he is actually taken birth in a very low class family he has born in that and he they is actually uh, speaking very strictly and whenever he is speaking to someone he is very speaking very hard and he is from a low class family so don't need to have this kind of darshan and he is actually lethargic actually i will do after some sometimes i can't do anything so the nishtha down which is those who are actually from some bhakt and pure devotee coming from a low actually low class family and he is speaking very strictly he is not at all sweet in speaking and he is actually lethargy in nature sometimes actually vaishnav i've seen he is actually doing after mala while doing mala he is actually sleeping we can see that sometimes he is getting sent lethargy externally it seems that he is actually lethargy bapu ka dosh that is bapu dosh so we can just have can see these kinds of faults so but still if we are seeing this fault still we don't need to see those faults in him like uh, this raven uh, river ganga bubbles foam and all kind of garbage can be dumped in ganga all dirty things can be there in ganga but that characteristics of brahmadratta was still there in ganga ganga is ganga so this kind of atma swarup all the vaishnav actually we have this atma swarup vaishnav externally we are seeing that they are having some fault they are coming from a low class family and he is not looking good at all externally and he is actually have no shape of his body and his uh, well while speaking it's not good so this kind of material uh, faults um, vaishnav will not become um, uh, get contaminated with that whatever you are seeing with that material fault you have seen actually he has just got low class family born in that he is actually black in uh, seeing not good in after seeing that these material faults actually it is not at all uh, applied on vaishnavas these material uh, rules why because they are atma swarup lakshan that eternal swarup darshan is uh, activated he has just come in this material body he has get he is doing uh, having getting birth and everything in this material body he is getting when when you it is strictly prohibited to have 
that so, darshan of material darshan so by this material a uh, false also he is not getting contaminated so all these pure vaishnavas actually with this material darshan if you are thinking that he is very low then it is a big aparadh in the marmanuvat song it is written by bhakti mohan thakur it is written in marmanuvat kirtan bhakta mohan bhakti mohan thakur writing that that hari hai वैष्णव धर्म इज ऑल दाइम अप्राकृत ट्रांसिडेंटल बट स्टिल भक्ति ठाकुर स्पीकिंग भक्ति मोहन ठाकुर एक्चुअली राइटिंग इन दिस hey nandan nandan like this if i am just uh, having this kind of fault in uh, vaishnav i should not get uh, into this fallen condition sahi aparadh hai jano nahi hoi hot that kind of aparadh i should not do just we do keep on me so that i should not do any kind of vaishnav aparadh just i am just no, i should not uh, get into this fallen condition i should not drop my consciousness ओ प्रभु एक्चुअली वैष्णव इज योर्स एंड इट इज योर वैभव इट इज योर ओन प्रॉपर्टी वैष्णव यू डू एक्चुअली कीप ऑन मी यू डू कीप एन मर्सी ऑन मी सो दैट आई कैन गेट दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंकिंग एंड वेन इफ यू ऑल डू मर्सी ऑन मी then definitely i will just get uh, a good consciousness and i will just respect all the vaishnavas and even i will not found, uh, find any fault in them bhakti mohan thakur actually writing this and saraswati ko swami thakur bhakti siddhan saraswati thakur prabhupad bhakti siddhan saraswati ko swami thakur prabhupad also has written about this shloka he has just uh, written one bhashya on this in bengali it is written maybe it will be very difficult to understand in bengali but still you carefully listen to this bhakti no saraswati thakur krit bhashya tar swabhavik dosho ar tar deho dose na koriyo rosho shuddha krishna bhakto ka that pure krishna bhakto actually the behavior if some actually fault is there and in the body it is actually some defect is there externally Uh, like this if you are just uh, uh, seeing some um, uh, fault materially and you are just getting angry by that with that material darshan towards vaishnav if you are having that material darshan 
if you will get a material darshan towards vaishnav then if someone actually in pure devotee if there is some actually you can see externally some fault but then actually it is a fault in my own darshan it is actually my own fault that i am getting this darshan that in my darshan actually there is some aparad there is definitely one aparad in my darshan that's why i am getting this kind of darshan if some heen adhikari who is coming from a low class family low born family he is actually from a low my position is very low if this kind of thing is there then if you are just finding any fault in a version of like this those who are actually if you are a heen adhikari if you are by this if you are just doing a fault in fault in them so like in a that's it the pure devotee if you are finding fault then then definitely he will not get at that santosh inside him he will not find peacefulness in his heart definitely inside your heart he will not get that anand and peacefulness by just finding the fault in them because aparad means the contamination of heart aparad means contamination of heart that is done by aparad only and i have guru varg have just given the explanation of aparad that he will just in in his heart there will be always dissatisfaction inside his heart that is called aparad aparad apo raad means that peacefulness eternal bliss that blissfulness he is not there inside his heart there is no satisfaction in his heart all the time there is dissatisfaction inside his heart instability is there and there is no stability he is getting uh, too much jealousy ja inside his heart it is just because of heart because because of aparad there will be no blissfulness in the heart and those brahma dravya those who have just which is coming from the lotus feet of uh, uh, of krishna this river ganga actually coming from there in the ganga in that brahma dravya ganga when it is flowing there are lot of uh, of bubbles forms garbage and some rubbish you can see externally in the water प्रभुपद एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग दिस एंड फ्रॉम अदर यू कॉन्ट कंपेयर एनी अदर वॉटर विद रिवर गंगा so inside still it uh, garbage is there inside river ganga but still you cannot compare river ganga with any other water and in the same way like the well, uh, and stool if the devotees also have their uh, stool and urine this is not at all you just need to uh, do grina you just don't have to hate that that is not at all a object of hateness like narottam das thakur like he was just for loknath goswami he was uh, actually cleaning up cleaning up the toilet place of narottam of uh, loknath goswami with water very nicely he used to clean up that place and with that uh, with that uh, bloom he used to sweep the place very nicely so that so the devotees have that transcendental uh, stool and urine and we don't need to find any fault in their uh, passing stool and urine as well the pure devotees who, for those who are actually finding fault in sadhus and pure devotees that is called sadhu dosh drishta those who are, they are actually they are take those who are actually doing darshan of sadhu and finding fault in them like ramchandra puri 
he is in the devotees all the time he is finding fault in them oh you are eating so much oh how much money you have that why you are eating so that you are eating so much he is actually finding another fault and and the, he was actually at the last he finding fault in mahaprabhu he just went to the house of mahaprabhu and mahaprabhu just respect him why actually so much ants going here what is the reason why ants are there in this house definitely this sanyasi is actually taking lot of sweets so greedy actually uh, he is actually taking sweets alone so he was actually finding fault in mahaprabhu so where actually ramchandra bhaji where he went he actually went to hell why because ramchandra puri he is actually has he is giving updesh to madhavendra puri but why you are actually crime gurudev you are actually brahm you are actually you just understand you are brahm actually why you are actually crying madhavendra puri you just get lost from here you get lost from here i don't want to even see your face if i will see your face then definitely my bhakti will get destroyed you go from here He just. I don't want to see your face. If I'll see your face, then definitely I will destroy everything. So Guru Dev has just thrown him. So he has always five finding fault in Guru Dev. Why he is crying? You see, that is not at good. He actually just uh, finding fault in his Guru Dev. So this kind of finding fault in pure Guru Vaishnav, this is strictly prohibited. Not at all good at all. We need to leave that. And. साधु दोस्त त्रोष्टा दोज वर एक्चुअली फाइंडिंग फॉल्ट इन साधु एंड कृष्ण हैज ऑलरेडी गिवन दिस इंस्ट्रक्शन दैट माई डिबोटी एंड मी इज ऑल द टाइम वन वन एंड देर इज नॉट एट ऑल एनी फॉल्ट इन माई डिबोटीज एंड विद द वेरी फॉल्स ही गो एक्चुअली दे आर जस्ट फाइंडिंग फॉल्ट इन देयर इन साधु एंड देयर भक्ति इज गेटिंग डिस्ट्रॉयड एंड दे विल गोइंग टू द हेल्प जस्ट टू destroy themselves and they are just get killed in the killed and going into hell they are just going into hell that's it so we will just be giving a rest up till this point and i'll be giving analytical discussion discussion of this shloka because this shloka is very important more uh, discussion should be there i am just given a brief discussion गंगा वशा न खलु बुदुबुदो फेन पंक्वैर्ब्रह्मोदत्तमगछत नीरधर मयि दृष्ट स्वभावनिवैर्वपुश्चदोषर् न प्राकृतमीह भक्तजन शपशे गंगा वशा न खलु बुदुबुदो फेन पंक्वैर्ब्रह्मोदत्तमगछत नीरधर मयि So today I will just be giving rest up till today. Tapasvi gan, those who are doing tapasya, and those who are doing tapasya all the time, those who are doing donating all the time. and those who are just as we do lot of uh, opulence and lot of name fame they have got and those big manishi and he is doing actually lot of ved mantra he is topmost in uh, just who is getting the topmost about ved mantra as well that knowledge about ved mantra they are actually according to their own karma maybe they are actually sumangal but still but if they are not actually giving it to bhagwan then there will no be door for uh, open for that actual mangal so this is the actual meaning of this uh, shloka what i told you can understand this what i told so they are actually all mangal because the paswi is also mangal mai he is he is not doing anything wrong donation don't who is donating he is also right do ye sasvi they are actually getting name fame manishi is actually big, big manishi and he is actually knowledge of ved uh, mantra they are doing all their own karma and uh, nobody can speak like they are doing a uh, wrong thing definitely if it is actually happiness mangal also but if it is not uh, uh sharnagat onto lotus feet of ma gor krishna then it is not at all useful so i just pay uh pranam onto lotus feet of that 
भगवान तपस्वीन दान पर जसस्वीनो मनस्वीनो मंत्र विद सुमंगला क्षेम न भिन्नती बिना जदर्पणम तस्म शुभद्र सबसे नमो नम वाचकल्पद्रोष के पास सिंधु पावन भविष्य नमो